or everything I will present you about the preservation recommended project how to solve the linear equation solution using the like method in the analysis next we go to the introduction for the introduction non-linear equation non-linear equation is into quadratic circular and exponential value in this lesson we draw the non-linear equation and determine if they are function use the vertical line test to determine if a linear or non-linear equation is a function by using Newton Rexon method the equation can be solved Newton Rexon method then Newton Rexon method quickly find the root a real value function x equal to zero is assumed a tangent to continuous and repetition function can approach it if the function meets all perfection and the initial test is correct using this x formula and work opposing the x0 and x0 x0 is the geometric intersection of the x axis and the tangent of f graph at the x0 f x0 is the symbol of the linear opposite in the beginning the position d is repeated as the following using this formula until a accurate value is determined this is the first order approach followed by the helen the method can be solved equation system and complex functions that's all Hi, my name is Muhammad Arif Irwan Berusnan, DF 2061. Today, I'm going to explain about the literature review of our project, uh, which is newton rudson method. Newton's method, also known as a newton rudson method, it is named after Isaac Newton and Joseph Rudson that find successively bet better approximation to the, to the root of zeros of a real value functions. Iterative method for approximating the root of the non-linear equation. The figure below shows the formula of newton rudson method and the graph for the formula. For newton rudson method, the principle is extremely simple, but if done by hand, a single problem could take an hour to solve. This method solves a non-linear problems. Uh, it can be used to help us solve any non-linear problem in civil engineering. It is also used by structural engineers to compute stress in a structure while accounting for a non-linear material properties with finite elements. My name is Muhammad Amir Fala bin Ahmad Kamil, no DF 2095. So I will explain about methodology in general. For the first one, we need to determine the equation of nonlinear equation yx. Number two, we need to differentiate the equation of nonlinear yx. Number three, starting the initial value for x now. Number four, from x now, substitute the value in yx and y prime x. Number five, we need to find the value of x1 by using this formula xi plus one equal to xi minus vxi divided by v prime si. Number six, we need to substitute the new value for x1 to equation and repeat the same steps until we reach stopping criteria v xi less than 0.0005. Next, methodology in problem solving. Number one, we need to determine equation of reflection of the bookshelf, right? Just show in the slide. Number two, we need to define function vx when dy equal to dx equal to zero, and we will get the function vx, right, in the slide. Number three, we need to define function v prime x from equation of v x and we will get v prime x like in the slide. And number four, we need to define the initial x value x now equal to 10 and stopping criteria is v x i less than epsilon 0 0.0005. Number five, from x now equal to 10, substitute the value in both equation of v x and v prime x and the answer must be at least in four decimal fillies. Number six, to find the value of x1, we need to use this formula, xi plus one equal to xi minus v xi divided by v prime xi. And lastly, we need to substitute the new value for x1 to equation and repeat the same step until it reaches stopping criteria v xi less than 0.005. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Afiq bin Hamzan and I will explain about the solution for our study. The first step, by using the equation given from the problem statement, we need to deflection it and get the values of vx and v prime x and then from the values we manage to get the graph and then the next step we need to use the formula to fill up the table so for the interval 0 it stated in the problem statement that the x that i0 is equal to 10 so we manage to get the zero interval vxi is negative 0 0.0085 and v prime x i is 0 0.0017 and then by using the formula we need to get the first interval and xi we get 15 vxi we managed to get 0 negative 0 0.008 and v prime xi is 0 0.0019 and then repeated the same step we managed to get the value of the second interval which is 15.4 to 11 0 0.0016 and 0 0.0019 and then repeated 
the same step again to get the third interval which is SIA 14.57 Eight nine nine zero zero point zero zero and zero point zero zero nine, and then the VXI zero point zero 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 is less than zero point zero 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 five. So since it is less than zero point zero zero five, the maximum deflection of the book trap approximately occurs at span length of fourteen point five seven one eight. And then we need we also need to calculate the absolute error and relative error. By using the formula, we get the absolute value. The absolute error values is 0.231 and relative error value 1.56%. Uh, for the discussion in our studies, the calculation stop at third iteration where the maximum deflection occurs. Since the value of VXI 0.000 is less than 0.005, the maximum deflection of the bushes approximately occurs at the span length of 14.5718 meter. An extra support will be needed at the span length of 14 meter to ensure more strength and to avoid failure to the bookshelf. Absolute error is a measurement of how far the results we calculate compared to the, the exact value. The exact value is 14.81 where the approximate value was 14.5790. The resulting the total absolute error is 0 0.231 and the relative error is 1.56% from the results. We can conclude that the absolute error is low, which makes greater accuracy. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad Arif from New Zealand, and I will continue the presentation. For conclusion, a competent engineer should be familiar with a variety of problem-solving techniques, including both classic and current ones that employ advanced technology. This is because if a technology field, a skilled engineer must be capable of employing all way, which can demonstrate that an engineer is not overly reliant on the current method they employ sophisticated technology. As a result, the numerical technique may be used to civil engineering field. For like example, nonlinear equation and differentiation method can be used to compute the deflection, or interpolation method can be used to determine the energy required for water treatment. For a simply supported beam, the Newton Rosser method may be used to determine the maximum deflection point. If the force exceeds the limit, the object will collapse. The maximum deflection location for this project is 14.572 meter. Besides that, the absolute error is 0.231 meter, while the relative error is 1.56%. This is because the actual location is 14.81 meter. It might take up to three iterations to get a good estimate of where the largest deflection is located. Overall, all the objectives for this project as stated in the introduction have been achieved successfully. That's all from us. Thank you.